Thank you, Senator Rubio, and thanks to you and Senator Boxer for calling this very important hearing. And I want to issue an invitation to the four members that are here. In recent weeks, I've had the chance with Dr. Frieden's courtesy to host two members of the United States Senate at CDC in Atlanta. I'd urge you to come down and spend an afternoon, and I'll spend it with you, to see the research that's done and the reach that CDC has, particularly with regard to Zika. And I want to underline, CDC is always referred to as the Center for Disease Control, but it's a five-word title, not a three-word title. It's the Center for Disease Control and Prevention. And we're at a critical point on Zika where we're, the prevention needs to be what we focus on because controlling it doesn't do you any good once these cases start multiplying. And I'll give you some numbers for us to be aware of. The urgency of this matter is this, that as of July the 6th, there are 1,133 Zika cases in the continental United States of America, and 320 are pregnant women as of June the 30th. Is that about correct, Dr. Frieden? In the U.S. territories, there are 2,534 cases, and 279 are pregnant women. This is a crisis of major proportion, and we, time is of the essence. I've made two or three speeches on the floor talking about the need for us to pass this, and it will be professional malpractice on our part if we leave here for seven weeks and have not dealt with this, because Dr. Frieden and the Center for Disease Control and Prevention need the funds now to prevent what could be a major worldwide crisis in terms of the Zika pregnancy. As a Georgian, just as an anecdotal piece of evidence, one, an employee of mine attended the briefing with Senator Collins that Dr. Frieden took us through on Zika a few months ago. His wife was in an early pregnancy. After the briefing, he moved his wife to Colorado, where these mosquitoes don't exist, just to be sure she's in a safer environment than Georgia during the term of her pregnancy. In our state, the two mosquitoes that carry the Zika, both are indigenous to Georgia. So we, this is something that is priority one, as far as I'm concerned. I think it's critical that we get it done. Now, I walk, my dear friend, Senator Boxer, whose passion I have seen illustrated on thousands of issues as we work together as co-chairs of the Ethics Committee, but when you came in, you mentioned the Confederate flag. I want you to know that as chairman of the Veterans Committee, I saw to it that the Senate took out the House provisions, and there is nothing in the conference report at all that deals with the Confederate flag. Correct, Tim? I see Tim nodding his head, so I just want to. Well, I can, I can tell you I had the jurisdiction. I took care of that. Well, as chairman, I'm telling you, if it's in there, somebody went over my head because I'm the one that made sure that Senate provision Provide, prevailed, which was no, no provision at all. Well, that, this is, I'm talking about the Zika bill we're talking about today. It is not in there. And I appreciate it. But I want to underline the fact that this is about prevention, and we can have our differences on a lot of things, but we've got to do everything we can to get the resources in the hands of the CDC to develop a program of prevention. They demonstrated in the Ebola, the thing about Ebola that they get so much credit for and should is the Ebola outbreak took place, people developed Ebola, and they got out there and they treated people with Ebola. The, the number of deaths was minimized, although it was significant. But what people forget about is the educational reach of CDC around the world to teach people best practices actually stopped the epidemic within a pretty unbelievable period of time, I think about 13 to 16 weeks, if I'm not mistaken. And that's what we want to see with Zika. We, we don't want to just deal with those that have it. We want to deal with those that don't have it and make sure they don't get it. And this funding is absolutely critical for us to see to it that that happens. So Senator Rubio calling this hearing today and focusing on the need to do it is very important. And I hope before we leave tomorrow, we can have an agreement in the Senate to ratify the conference report. And I want to thank all of you in healthcare for what you do to help protect the pregnant moms of America and the citizens of my state against what is a real threat. And the problem is it's a delayed reaction. You find out today that they're pregnant nine months from now, you find out if there's a problem. Nine months from now is too late. We need to prevent every, every terrible pregnancy we can today, and that's why I want to focus on the need to pass this as quickly as possible in the United States Senate. I yield back. That wasn't a question. That was a speech, and I apologize.